Hi, this video takes a quick look at Bad Connection, an effect from my JSFX set. Bad Connection creates random volume variations which can be used for glitchy creative use or to simulate other effects such as poor radio reception. Let's dive in. To start, we have a simple two note pattern played on a pad synth preset. Now we add Bad Connection and have a listen. As you can hear, instead of a nice smooth sound, the audio is now cutting in and out. This is the main thing Bad Connection does, and the controls for it are up here in this volume variation section. This first dial is speed, which sets how fast it cuts in and out. This on-off ratio sets how much time it spends in its loud or soft mode, so if we move it down, you can hear it's now mostly cutting out and only occasionally getting through. If we turn it up, we hear it's mostly getting through and only occasionally cutting out. This dial here sets how much the volume is reduced when it cuts out, and this smoothing dial controls how fast the fade is. If we pull the off level right down, and also pull smoothing down so the transition is instant, we get something that sounds like a glitchy CPU overload. That was honestly a little unsettling during development, because it really sounded like I'd made a mistake in my code. Lastly, if we set the off level to zero decibels, then the volume variation has no effect, so we just hear our original sound again. Let's look at the distortion group next. You can see some controls on the left, and the graph on the right indicating the response. Unlike most distortions, this distortion is independent of input volume, so loud and soft inputs will have the same amount of distortion on them. This dial controls the intensity of the distortion, and the fuzziness dial controls the harshness of the distortion curve. This last section controls a feedback delay. This dial here controls the feedback amount, and you can control the delay in terms of 16th notes or millisecond adjustment. Both the distortion and volume variation sections are inside the feedback loop, so echoes get more and more distorted. This switch on the right here determines whether the initial sound should have the distortions applied or not. If we change this to clean, we hear the initial notes are not distorted, only the echoes are. Lastly, let's take a look at what happens when you combine the feedback delay with volume variation. If we reduce our distortion and turn our off level down again, our echoes are now cutting in and out, even as they decay. In fact, if we turn our feedback right up to 100%, normally this would mean that our sound echoed on forever, getting more and more distorted, but instead it eventually dies away, because the feedback delay line keeps cutting in and out due to the volume variation. We can make this decay happen faster or slower by changing the on-off dial, which determines what proportion of the time the feedback spends cutting out. So, that's Bad Connection, I hope you have fun with it. There are instructions for how to install it in the video description as well as links to some presets. I'm making videos for my other effects as well, so do check those out or subscribe for future ones.